Real Madrid will not have any rest. Bellingham and Mbappe are not the only superstars who will be part of the new Bernabeu team over the next 15 months. In this video, we explain the Blanca's mega rebuild and why it is inevitable. The football world is not ready for this, but we are starting anyway. Let's go. This is the world of modern football, ladies and gentlemen. These days, only two months separate the club from having the easiest transfer window possible to the start of one of the biggest rebuilds in its history. Back in April, Real Madrid's transfer ambitions were limited to finding a backup left back and forward. And possibly the management and coaching staff were planning to add a young center mid as a future replacement for the agent Cross and Modric. That's all. But Boom and Liverpool are out of the race for Bellingham. Boom and Marcos Asensio leaves the team. Boom and Karim Benzema moves to Saudi Arabia. And now, instead of a quiet summer, we get Real Madrid, which is planning to assemble new Galacticos. The history spiral has taken a new turn. We've seen it at least twice before. Isn't that right, Mr. Florentino Perez? First, it was Luis Figo, Zinedine Zidane, Ronaldo, David Beckham and Michael Owen at the beginning of the century. Later, it was Cristiano Ronaldo, Kaka, Xabi Alonso and Karim Benzema. And now the time has come for the third generation of Galacticos. And it seems that for the first time, it will be an unplanned rebuild. But that doesn't make it any less exciting. Over the next 15 months, Real Madrid will most likely add four superstars to its roster. And we're going to tell you about all of them right now. Let's start with the transfer that Real Madrid have already completed. The first of the Neo Galacticos is 19-year-old Jude Bellingham, the English box-to-box -box midfielder signed a six-year contract with the Blancos. The Spanish giant won the fight with the player's signature against Liverpool. The Reds were considered the favorites for Jude during the season. But when it came down to business, it turned out that only Real Madrid was ready for serious negotiations with Borussia. It is rumored that Madrid paid about 100 million euros for Bellingham's transfer. Another 20-30 million will be available in bonuses. Given the level of the player, his age and media popularity, it looks like an absolute bargain. Vinicius Jr. was the first Real Madrid player to greet the newcomer. Welcome to the best club in the world, Jude Bellingham, the Brazilian wrote. No matter how much oil money may try to change the scene, it can only postpone the inevitable. Sooner or later, Kylian Mbappe will wear Real Madrid's white shirt. It was only a matter of time before a new wave of hype regarding this transfer would sweep the world. Last summer, the Frenchman sensationally extended his contract with the Parisians for two years, gaining almost total power over everything that happens at the club. But a couple of weeks after signing the new deal, he regretted his choice. So as soon as the transfer window in Europe opened, it all started again. News of Kylian's desire to leave PSG spread like wildfire. But now the club's position has changed. Le Parisien writes that the club is ready to sell the player if a suitable offer arrives. According to the newspaper, the relationship between the player and the club is completely broken. In public, Mbappe has denied everything so far. I didn't ask to leave PSG or to join Real Madrid. I just told the club that I won't activate the option to extend the contract until June 2025, the Frenchman said. But in fact, this message is a statement of departure. His contract expires in a year, and Kylian will not extend it, even though he has this option. That is, he has given PSG a choice – sell him now or lose him in a year for free. According to Fabrizio Romano, Kylian Mbappe is formally on the market, and PSG are ready to sell. Of course, selling a player like Mbappe is not an easy task. The Parisian bosses want to get 200 million euros for the player, the amount that only three, four clubs in the world can pay. In addition, PSG want to sell Kylian to anyone but Real Madrid. In addition to the already tense relationship between the clubs, Paris is furious about a video that recently appeared on the internet. There, a fan asks Florentino Perez if he plans to buy Mbappe, and the latter replies, yes, but not this summer. PSG's management is convinced that this video was not leaked by accident and that the Real Madrid president is playing dirty. It seems that Kylian and Real Madrid have the advantage in this situation. Mbappe can easily refuse to join any club other than the Blancos, stay in Paris for another year and move to Bernabeu for free in the summer of 2024. 
Especially considering that Killian has made this statement. I've already said that I'm going to continue next season at PSG, where I am very happy. At the same time, Bob is pissing PSG bosses off, undermining their authority and pushing for his sale quite openly. This becomes clear from his recent comments regarding Lionel Messi and his situation with the club. We are talking about potentially the best player in history of football. It's always a bad news when someone like Messi leaves. I don't quite understand why so many people were relieved when he left. In France, he didn't get the respect he really deserved. It's a shame, Mbappe said. There is only one conclusion to be drawn from the whole thing. Kylian will become a Real Madrid player. This summer or the following, but it will happen. Friends, like this video if you would like to see the transfer happen this summer. Rumors regarding Harry Kane and Real Madrid emerged after Karim Benzema left the club. The England captain is obviously a great option to replace the Frenchman. But recently, these talks have cooled down a bit. And it seems that the potential Kylian Mbappe transfer only reduces the chances of Kane's arrival. Well, it actually works the other way around. Let us explain. The cunning fox flogged in Perez might well use Kane to blackmail PSG or Mbappe. With this transfer, he will say, look, we're gonna buy Kane now and next summer we'll take your Mbappe for free. Such a trick will reduce the Frenchman's price if there's a desire to sign him now. It's a no-lose situation. The second reason is that Real Madrid still needs to strengthen the attacking line, despite Mbappe's arrival. After Asensio's departure, only Vinicius and Rodrigo, who can play in the wings of the attack at the top level, remain at the club. This is not enough. And the trio Vinicius, Kane, Mbappe sounds much more exciting than Vinicius, Mbappe, or someone else. In addition, using Kylian as an advanced center forward is not the best idea. He's much more dangerous when he has freedom. So, with Vinicius and Mbappe on the wings and Kane, as a striker, Real Madrid will immediately turn into an unstoppable tornado. Agreed, this attacking line looks unbelievably frightening. Well, there is another obvious advantage of Real Madrid in the Kane race. The unwillingness of Tottenham president Daniel Levy to sell his striker to the Premier League rivals. So we have too many signs to ignore the possibility of this transfer. After Marcelo's departure, Real Madrid failed to find a worthy replacement for the legendary Brazilian defender. Since the Roberto Carlos era, Madrid has been used to having a charismatic and incredibly skillful player on the left side of the defense. Neither Ferlan Mendy, nor David Alaba, nor graduate Frank Garcia are quite what the fans expect. Reputable journalists, including Matteo Moreto and Jose Felix Diaz, at the beginning of the summer, unanimously reported that Bayern Munich fullback Alfonso so Davis was a serious transfer target for Blancos. Real Madrid is a big club, they're a big brand. A big club, 14 CLs, when your player gets linked to them, you feel proud. Davis agent Nadal Hussein told Fabrizio Romano, you don't make such statements to one of the most famous journalists for no reason. Add to this Alfonso's refusal to extend his Bayern deal, as well as Real Madrid's desire to sign the player this summer. Although Munich have no intention of parting ways with the player, the fact that his contract expires in two years may push them to negotiate and try to make as much money as possible from the Canadian. Just imagine that left wing was Davis and Vinicius, a living hell for any defender. Let's keep Hendrik in mind as well. This Brazilian talent is already breaking the local league. This guy has already scored 9 goals and made 2 assists for the Palmeiras first team. And this is at the age of 16. And we nearly forgot, the prodigy is already a Real Madrid player. And in 2024, as soon as he turns 18, he will join Blancos and become part of this grand rebuild. They are definitely counting on Hendrik, uh, because Madrid to have living proof of Vinicius and Rodrigo, who have made the same journey. No matter what happens now, next summer Real Madrid will look like a Formula One car again. The image of all these players going out on the field together in white shirts at the renovated Santiago Bernabeu is just dizzying. Friends, write in the comments whether you believe that Real Madrid will sign all of these players by the end of the summer of 2024 and what such a team can potentially achieve. Also, check out our other videos that you can see on your screens right now. Bye!